This program contains strong language and sexual references from the outset and throughout. I would hurry up and finish my nighttime toilette because the sun is going to be coming up soon. <laughs> I am so grateful to have Gary. After the craziness at the party, this is like my safe place, my nest. It was like one of the craziest evenings of my life. You don't usually expect an engagement party to be one of the craziest nights of your life. Maybe that's why I have zits from stress. That's why I don't go out. Oh, I have my two favorite Brads with me today, look. Wait, is this Brad too? This is Brad, I waited you to meet him for so long. Hi, <laughs> Are you a good boy? James Vaughn, I know of his husband, obviously, Jonathan Bennett, and you know, I love that when we did connect before the show, he was like, I don't like drama, I'm not drama, and I'm exactly the same way. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a little of that, too? Hi. Hi, Lady Vaughn. Hi, baby. How are you? Hi, how are you? You look smashing, as always. Likewise. I never use that word for anyone, but you look really? smashing. You got your legs out. Oh, I'm always in a hoochie daddy short. I have the, like these, yeah, the, I the, can get you the Palm here. Springs ones. Yeah. When I'm in Palm Springs, it's like five inch inseam only. Yeah. We could get you up to a sphere, I think. I'm a fan of Brad Goreski. What? That's some notes you want to take, that gentleman right there, right? I admire so much what he's done. I feel like I'm back to entertainment news hosting, and I'm talking to the stars. Can those shoes be in the sand? They look very fancy. These are um, J.W. Anderson. Like the Marriott? No. Like the designer. It's very different for me. I don't know. It's like I'm, I shop at, like, on a good day, TJ Maxx. That's high end. Usually I'm at the Ross. Is this designer too? No. Oh, I would have never known. You think I'm gonna bring my Hermes blanket to the beach? Are you sleepy, baby? Are you sleepy? I got yes. both my brads on the beach. Y'all so, the only brads in my life. Really? Yeah. You don't have any more? I only had one brad till I met you. Oh. Yeah, shit. The two cutest right. ones. The two cutest little fluffy and furry both ones. Both of us have sand on our noses. Yeah, so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Do we both have sandy noses? Hey, can you not put this? So wait, how's married life? You're six months in, right? Six months in. How long are you at? I've been married a long Well, time, right? we've been together for 21 and married for five in December. So uh, 100 gay years together, uh -huh. 25 gay years married. Yeah. Got it. Hey, what's the secret? The secret is not fighting. And then if anything does come up, resolving it quickly. Like I wake up and like my work day is with my husband, unless he's shooting a movie or a TV show, which is quite often these days, so it's a lot of time with my business partner. Yeah, right. On the Zoom, yeah. planning things out. Yeah, I don't know, like Gary and I, we do a, a lot of different things together, but our work is pretty separate. That's something I had to talk to Jonathan about with being in business together. But first, like, I think it got a little, little ooh, ooh, like a little crunchy, because when I'm making decisions, I'm thinking, so my delivery is just really quick, and I, yeah, we can't do that, and then we just move on, right? And I realized all that comes out a little cold. So I did have to learn to communicate that to him yeah. as far as like, okay, like, I'm not upset. I'm not anything. I realize it comes out that way. Well, it's also just respect for the other person, right? Just like that main line respect for the person that you're with. Like, could you imagine you and Gary working on this show and you were with him like 12 hours a day on set and then at home? Oh, no, no. I mean, girl, come on. So you crazy? I think Brad's straying now. <laughs> yes. Brad, get over Into here. the ocean? Let's not get in the ocean, bud. Come on. Everything and every drink, just be on your fingertips. Remember, like we said the other day, this number and nails or hips heels are the ones that everybody's gonna film, so just go over it eight billion times. The boys will post. No, it looks good. Okay, I'll let y'all go. Good job, Jenny. Thank you. Killing it. Hello! <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Is this where you usually like perform and do your thing? For this specific trip, we're just like only rehearsing in here. Are you coming? I'm doing, I'm headlining the Pride, like in Palm Springs. Oh. That's where I ought to give you a go. Uh huh. <laughs> I you didn't know, know you knew about that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been. Now you know where all the gay people go, <laughs> Curtis. Of course, I'm gay. I'm not trying to fool anybody. 
I'm here sitting in my truth. But, you know, am I a pride goer? Cause no, that's just not my thing. The fact that it's gonna be public is where I'm just like, I just don't know. How's this journey been for you? Like, you know, you can stay quiet, that's easy. Yeah. To open up. You know, a lot of people have. Yeah, that's a lot what of people, people do. do. They, Jinx. Boom. <laughs> that, that's the easy way it goes, is being quiet and just worried about you. As you know, you've talked about it. So. Yeah, I I don't know if you know a part of my story, but I was on American Idol and when of I was course, there. I used to watch your butt. Oh, really? I used, <laughs> yeah, I used to watch your butt. I used to watch you on American Idol. I was a big fan. I ain't just saying that. No, I always thought you were super talented. Thank you. I always thought you were dope. Thank you. When I was on that show, though, I was like so nervous about opening up about who I was. Like when Ryan Seacrest would come talk to me, I would be so nervous about like how I waved, how I spoke, how I laughed, because I was out. But then being out publicly is like coming out of the closet all over again, and you don't realize what that is gonna feel like. And I feel like I've come out of the closet three times, four times. Like I feel like I came out to my friends and family in high school, then I came out on American Idol, and then I came out like to start doing like the, the drag like persona and everything like that felt like coming out but it, my point of saying that was like when i got eliminated from american idol i was like this feels like the worst situation that I could have possibly happened to me and not because i didn't win the show but because i didn't win being somebody that i wasn't yeah. and at that point i made like a vow to myself like i would always be authentically myself even if it meant less famous less followers less ticket sales less album sales or streams or whatever you know, I never want to identify myself as anything. I'm me, and I and I hope people take that the right way. I am me, yeah. and I'm proud to who I, be who I am and where I'm going and you know, what I've done, and um, it's just the way I grew up. I've grown up religious, which obviously, the way I grew up, it's a sin. Um, so that's one thing. You know, my sister and my mom are both in the school system and in the church. I always say, I'm gonna be okay. Is my mom gonna be okay? Are people gonna be fair to them, be nice to them? Family is everything to me, and I'm just more worried about how it's gonna affect them. We don't talk about a lot of things, so, you know, I just keep your mouth shut, you don't gotta answer the stuff, but yeah. once you open up that door, that Pandora's box, people are gonna be in your business. 